Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So in this video I am actually coming to you from Mallorca and I wanted to share one of my more subtle smoky eyes. I feel like I haven't done a makeup routine in a long time on my channel and I wanted to take this opportunity being away to share one of my more dressy looks. So we have a evening dinner and I just wanted to do something a little bit different to what I would do on an everyday basis. So starting with my favourite step which is skincare and I'm using the Origins Planscription Anti-Aging Power Serum. This is a really lovely serum and a really great first step. I'm then using one of my favourite Origins products which is the Ginseng Eye Cream and this amazing little wand is what I travel with and it's just so perfect. It's the perfect applicator and you can immediately see that my under eyes just look so much brighter. Moving on to moisturiser, I'm using the Origins Ginseng Ultra Hydrating Energy Boosting Cream and this has been something that I've used for many years and I'm really excited because Origins have actually reformulated this moisturiser so it offers up to 72 hours of hydration which is amazing and it's just such a lovely cream, it really moisturises my skin, it always feels really hydrated and radiant after using it. This is a really important step. I'm using the Clinique SPF 35 stick and I use this every single day because it's so important to protect your skin. And I love that this one has absolutely no white cast. For a bit of glow, I use the Max Strobe Cream. This is the original color and this literally makes my skin so glowy and it really helps to make my base look a little bit more natural and skin-like. I'm in between foundation shades at the moment because I have quite a bit of a tan. So I'm mixing together Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation in 7.75 and 8.5. As you can see, I use this foundation religiously. It's just very skin-like and seamless. I love the finish. I love that it lasts all day. And also, it really is suitable for people of my skin tone. It has such a wide range of shades and... For someone of a warmer complexion, I definitely do struggle to find the perfect foundation shade, but this does feel like a good match. I'm using the Charlotte Tilbury Retoucher Concealer in number 3, just to brighten under my eyes and conceal any darkness. And I like to use this in kind of a triangle shape under my eyes, and I also take it down my forehead and down the bridge of my nose, just to really light up my face. To correct my discoloration, I'm using the MAC Studio Finish Concealer in NW40 and just popping it around any of my darker areas. For me, the targeted area is around my mouth and I'll just blend that in with a beauty blender. So the Estee Lauder Bronze Goddess Bronzer is one of my favourite bronzers of all time. I have been using this for years. I just absolutely love the colour and finish of it. It's not muddy at all and it really helps to just warm up my face. I'm using the Becca Mineral Blush in Wild Honey. This is also my favourite blusher. It's just a really nice, warm, beigey brown. Moving on to brows, I'm using the Benefit Goof Brow Brow Pencil. And I follow the natural shape of my brow and I continue to brush my eyebrow hairs as I fill in just to make it look a little bit more natural and so it's not too blocky. I'm using the NARS Tinted eyeshadow base in medium dark as both a primer and also my actual eyeshadow. The colour of this is so nice and the payoff is lovely. It's really hard to find brown tones that actually show up on my skin tone and this one is just really nice. So I'll pop this all over my eye and blend it in with my finger and then I'll use a fluffy brush to blend in the top line and make sure it's not too harsh. I'm then taking matte coffee eye pencil and just lining my lids. And this does not have to be neat. This is kind of something that I do every day. I really like to have a smoky lash line. So I'll run this along my whole line and then blend it in with a flat top brush. And I'll be sure to wing it out slightly at the edges. For mascara, I'm using the L'Oreal Lash Paradise Mascara. And I pop quite a lot of mascara on and I put it on at the top and also on my bottom lashes. So for lips, you guys know the drill if you're a long time subscriber. I use the Natural Collection Lip Pencil in Espresso to outline my lips and I will slightly overline just to give it a bit more definition and to make 
my lips look a little bit more symmetrical. I'm using MAC Lip Pencil in Spice all over my lips and then I'm going to be topping that off with the Estee Lauder Liquid Lipstick in Naked. I absolutely love this colour, it's the perfect nude beige. And that's my makeup look complete. So like I said, it is pretty subtle, it's quite simple, very easy to do, really great if you're in a hurry and you want to look a little bit more dressy. For my outfit, I've put together a very simple look. I'm wearing a very basic hammy from Under the Stories and the jeans are also from Under the Stories. And I just really like the wash and fit of these jeans. And I'm also pairing this look with, of course, gold accessories as always and a pair of heels from Office Shoes. And yeah, so that is the makeup look complete. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think in the comment section below and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.